Uh, yeah. Three defeats, but three pretty close matches. Um, and you've pushed a guy that you know most players haven't got anywhere near to today. Mm -hmm. um, how do you feel after that? How do you feel about going home and getting some time off now? Yeah, I think today was uh, you know solid match. Uh, that's what I went to go out to play uh, and try to play another good match. Obviously, it's a little bit more difficult mentally knowing that I'm uh, I had two losses uh, and um, that I'm not going to be able to go through. But still. It was a very solid match for me. I played, uh, I would say, those first two sets a uh, really good level. Um, even had a break point there, there early in the in the second. And uh, I think I, uh, overall, with my game, I was, uh, you know, quite satisfied. Played played good tennis. Uh, just in the third set, I felt that I dropped a little bit with my serving percentage. And once uh, Roger got the break, he was. Uh, Playing a little bit looser and and uh, obviously played well, but uh, you know even though it's uh, three losses, I felt that uh, you know my my tennis wasn't too far off of playing uh, really really well, and um, you know it's good positives at least in that, and hopefully I'm gonna uh, you know recover good and uh, start a new season in a, in a good level. Um, you sat here at the end of last season and said, mm -hmm. my goal for 2017 is to reach the top five. You've done that for each one number four. Do you have a goal for next season? And do you think kind of staying in the top mm -hmm. five is going to be even tougher with guys like Murray and Djokovic coming back? And how do you see their returns mm -hmm. going? Yeah, I think looking ahead, so obviously I'm going to try to set goals a little bit in front. <laughs> Three would be nice. Uh, but you know, I'm, I'm definitely going to talk with my team. Uh, we did uh, a lot of improvements in, in this year and it was uh, extremely positive. I think I played uh, extremely consistent throughout the season, especially starting from the clay court season. And uh, overall, I felt that uh, my level has come to a new new level. So hopefully even for next year, I can aim a little bit higher. Where is that going to be? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not sure. But uh, hopefully, I'm going to be in a position to uh, challenge the top guys and to uh, be in a contention for Grand Slams. Martin, can we can we go back on this year? Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell me your highs and your lows during, mm -hmm. and what you would like to do better mm -hmm. next year, or if you have mm -hmm. to prepare differently for some mm -hmm. things? Mm -hmm. um, I would say that clay court season uh, was extremely successful for me. Um, I played; I had the best clay court season ever, and played quite consistently there and I think that helped me to play well on the grass courts um, and uh, with uh, my form during the grass court season I was uh, really uh, really really satisfied and uh, and I was uh, I think at that stage of the year I came to the point where I um, uh, just got to the new level of consistency playing week week after week on a great level um, and then after that, I just had a little bit of a, a difficulty with uh, with the groin injury, so it just pushed me back for U.S. Open. I was not ready, um, but I, obviously after that, I uh, found my form again and played well. Um, just in these last uh, three weeks, Basel, Paris, and here um, with my form, I uh, didn't keep it up. Uh, I think I'm just gonna have to find a reason with my team why it happened, especially at this. Uh, crucial stage of the year um, where a lot of points could have been uh, won and um, you know a little bit unfortunate to just uh, drop the form at the end. Hi Marin, you played here three times now, have you found the atmosphere any different this year given the absence of so many players who would normally be here? Uh, I think the atmosphere has been really good, um, you could see that the crowd uh, I think the stadium was uh, full almost every every single match, and even for doubles. So you know, it's a it's amazing event here that uh, that uh, ATP has done, and I think it's uh, I would say probably the best one in the year that we have, and uh, definitely they uh, did a great job, and it's it's always a pleasure to be a part of it. Marin, how does your off season look like? I don't. I'm not interested in your vacation. Um, preparing for the new season. When mm -hmm. will it start? Do you plan any changes on on your off season on preparing for the new season? Um, this year, I'm going to have a little bit more time than last year. It was a little bit more difficult last year. Uh, I'll try to focus on my fitness, especially in this first part until uh, maybe December 10. 
December 15 uh, to try to uh, maybe get a little bit stronger, uh, quicker uh, also around the court. And uh, in tennis wise, um, you know, I, I think I found some good things that were working out quite well during the season uh, for me. Um, you know, I was even a little bit more focused to have a little bit more athletic uh, uh, exercises during my tennis. So that, that helped me, I think, to stay in, in good shape. I'll try to uh, you know, get back to that, get back to basics, and uh, even you know, try to lift uh, a little bit the form uh, towards the end of that uh, off-season period. And uh, you know, I really enjoy that part of the year. It's a part where I can improve a lot. So it's it's really uh, I'm I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Marine, it was not a good uh, end of the season, okay? Mm -hmm. But you have been a Grand Slam champion mm -hmm. with these big four. Only one was here this time, but. Uh, you have proved that it's possible. Yep. You, you don't lose your faith for being seven or eighth of the world, yep. but you want more. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and also, this is the first season for me that I started in top 10 and finished the top 10. That just shows the consistency level. And um, I'm uh, very much aware of my game that, uh, you know, in, uh, even though, uh, for example, in this year I didn't start so well, I didn't lose faith, so I played really well that uh, middle part patch of the year and so you know hopefully for next year I'm going to be uh, even better throughout the full season and that's going to give me a chance uh, you know to play the best guys uh, on a on a grand slams and to perform over there the best Marina, u zadnje vrijeme od kad si počeo više lupati lopticu u podprije servisa, sad se sve više spominje da to ljude iritira. Jesi li svjesno toga ili ti to ne smeta? Ma mislim, to me, to me ne smeta, niti me interesira. Imam svojih 25 sekundi i mogu raditi s tim šta god hoću. Ovaj, tako da, mislim, ušao sam nekako u, u taj u tu, u tu seriju i u rutinu, to jest uh, prije servisa, ali nije nešto što, što planiram. Prije svakog servisa tražim jednostavno pravi osjećaj kad, kad ću osjetiti da mi je idealna pozicija za, za odservirati. Uh, je li ovo ovi prva dva seta, sve do pet, četiri, ovo što si odigrao, možda uh, 20 winnera u prvom setu, uh -huh. 12 forehandom, uh, ono, krenio si baš totalno u napad, je li to ono što bi trebalo inače, ne samo, mislim, meč je bio neobičan toliko što na, u jednu ruku ne donosi ni tebi ni njemu ništa, uh -huh. ali nekakav putokaz kako bi trebao igrati protiv ovih najboljih. Pa mislim da jest. Igrao sam, ono, pokušao sam igrati naravno agresivnije, možda nijan su agresivnije nego ova prva dva meča. Odlično sam servirao taj prvi set i, i to mi je dalo malo ipak više vjetra u leđa da se opustim, ali s druge strane, mislim on, je, on igra ekstremno agresivno i ako mu dam priliku, Ovaj, on, će, on će prvi napast, tako da u tim situacijama, naravno, bez, nisam okljevao što, što je u jednu, stva, jednu ruku i, i super. A ovaj, naravno da je, da je mislim, ta agresivna igra definitivno ključ, ključ moje igre, ali opet moram se i ne oslanjiti na servis i na konstantnosti da opet se držim i da, da u situacijama kad imam za potegnem, da potegnem. Znam da je malo rano, ali jes, mogu li se izvući neke pouke iz ovoga, iz, iz ovog tjedna u Londonu? Za dalje? Um, pa, evo sad zad, zadnjih ovih dva, tri tjedna mislim da sam malo pao sa formom, krenuo sam oscilirati sa igrom uh, i definitivno mi je to uh, možda u, u, u tim uh, najbitnijim dijelovima meča se ispostavilo da je da je napravilo najveću razliku, tako da ću evo, pokušati sa, sa Cinko, sa Jonasom porazgovarati malo više o tome, čisto da, da znamo što se dogodilo i, i zbog čega je došao taj blagi pad forme i, i ovaj, 
kao što sam ispomenuo, stvarno ključan dio sezone gdje sam mogao ostvariti veliki broj bodova i nisam uspio. A, definitivno malo, malo razračuravajuće za, za ovakvu sezonu kakva je bila. A, i tako da Evo, pokušat ću to i imati u, u, u vidu za, za sljedeću sezonu i da, da mi se to, da je Bože, ne dogodi. 